Hey, back again with new video, guys. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel, and this is Xiaomi Mi 11X. Uh, the Poco F3, the Redmi K40, custom ROM reviews. Back with new video. This is MIUI VN edition. If I go into my device, you can check out Hyper VN OS OS version 1.0.24.4.2 developer edition 7.5.2024 is the latest build date. This is you can see the specifications. And if I go into detailed information specifications, Android version 14 and April security patch, which is the latest one for this Mi 11X. And kernel user is 4.19.157. Puff kernel has been used, uh, which is a little bit older, the kernel. But let's see how it actually handles here. And this is typical home screen. And this is how the app drawer. And there is no naming here, even in the home screen. If you press and hold here, if you go into settings, into more, there you need to select this don't show text anywhere no just off it hide app icons again that remains very similar here just there are some options actually you need to enable them search bar provider and minus one screen you get home screen with apps or classic light mode i don't want any suggestions here and desktop padding again that's there scrolling desktops yeah as you can see the effect of scrolling desktop but for some reason i didn't found there will be an option to have text on this as you can see there is very tiny if you guys can see or not very tiny the text is and this how the quick settings toggles and here guys i have change it this but there is no option like if you press on hold here you will not get any options to change but underneath the settings there are few options as you can see here advanced settings display and control center again me smart hub you can enable or disable here smart home swap big tiles if you want you can swap them as you can see this is how it is i like to have this one now four large tiles as you can see this how it looks like and again if i want this one it looks like this you can actually customize them but this was present in the edit section here that has been revamped here into display and control center anyhow and again control center style also has changed two icons in between that music player plenty are given as you can see you can actually customize them and animations you get some interpolation and animation duration lock refresh rate this animations i want to show you wave left as you can see how it goes here the animation if you want to show you stack top yeah also you can choose the interpolation default is given you can accelerate them as you can see that's how it actually works like and animation duration also you can check and change region theme currently i mean India only will choose to that and screenshot in protected application you can actually enable or disable from here this are some additional advanced settings in the status bar again this takes some time once you change anything here and status bar style again the plenty here for example if I give it to 7 it will change again it will reboot the system as you can see this is how it looks like very much different here as you can see on the screen you can actually customize them let me go it to style 10 again it reboot the system there are few customization i really like it just changing the color itself and positioning them maybe uh, given a little bit later maybe yeah let's check out style 6 how it actually looks again it reboot the system yeah it's in color color differences are only given here and you can actually change the clock color from here actually colored notification icons and ios notification clock it again reboots the system always this is how it looks like and dynamic island and ios dynamic island for example as you can see silent mode is turned on only in the red wherever it is there let me again show you as you can see it's annoying you can disable those extra settings and it will be fine in my Okay, in the advanced settings again, phone and contact as there and home screen customizations again. You get plenty as is shown before. You also get here gestures option, 
animation speed you will get the three options arrange items in recents again io style is there if you want vertical also you can select it from here here uh, show memory status and thumbnail size also you can increase or decrease and title card size vertical and card slipping sliding speed you can actually customize them task bottom space and uh, task corner radius you can increase or decrease from here actually and application for swipe up is there if you want any application for swipe up actions these are gesture based actions you can actually customize them and phone and contact again you get some options here after in going after on going own image choice of background maximum brightness and night mode options are given in this particular room smart mobile network and items again smart network settings you can enable or disable from here connection timer settings also you can enable or disable these are some advanced settings we get regarding this vn edition guys and interconnectivity and more interconnectivity options are given here you can enable or disable from here like dns vpn hotspot casting me share printing wireless display other things you can check out on the screen and wallpapers and personalization again if i agree here these lock screen customizations are given it's getting forced close because i have changed the reason here we will go into advanced settings again and into home screen we'll change that where i was change the region here keep it global only now it might work anyhow uh, wallpapers and personalization yeah it's getting forced close for some reason it was actually working fine and these are the pre-installed wallpapers these you need to manually download guys using apps you need to download then only it get downloaded and you can use it as main wallpapers and some of the wallpapers are pre-installed here as you can see the ui is smooth here and always on display also you will get it and you can also choose them always a fun 10 seconds after tapping that you can do it out i will do it always it might consume your battery let's check this apply yeah as you can see this how always on display is also working fine and fingerprint unlock i haven't set maybe let's check that in a while and this is always on display everything is working fine effects are simple here nothing more fancy and again let's check here the press and yeah face unlock is very much fast here lock screen yeah it will work guys once you change the region or make it default then it will work and these are the lock screen customizations here and notification status bar again you get plenty of options here style you get android and classic and battery indicator and if certain app is not playing in the full screen you can actually enable that from here and here they have written the number actually these are the status bar icons and control center style other things you can check out here and fingerprint face unlock haven't added it let me add very soon guys and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys i'll be motivated to make similar kind of videos and guess there is a separate playlist called me Linux. you can check out plenty of videos i already done for this particular device guys and also i recommend you to join the separate whatsapp group for this particular device it will be more useful for you and there is even a telegram group there you can share some of the links of this video whenever i uploaded uh, it is loading camera the face unlock is anyhow not gonna work like that let me change it to touch here that's how the fingerprint unlock has been added i kept it to touch now as you can see it's very much fast and accurate for some reason the face unlock is not working here app lock and du dual apps those are available here you can also see apps here and battery again you get four different mode and these are the additional settings memory extension up to 6 gb is available floating windows are gonna work here second space what i was speaking accounts and sync you can actually enable or disable from here otg also you can select from here that's cool thing and light mode second space are given every options are working fine here no problem regarding that and we'll see some results here before seeing that we'll show you this one gallery recognize text table all the options are given here that i really like it and even the dialer also fine here you will get call recording features here as you can see and camera application is also a proper hypervised build with leica integrated camera you all get these options in the video mode you actually get 4k 30 
yeah no 60 here anyhow these all the camera and pre-installed apps like me video and security application is also older here it's still a me way based camera and they would have been updated anyhow and other uh, via browser and some of the apps are pre-installed we'll see some results here and uh, this is the and to benchmark results 7,96,297 what I got and 10.2.5 is the version I use and 7.2 degrees Celsius is the temperature raise and 5% of battery has been dropped scores are very good if we use in performance mode it might go a little bit higher and this is the Geekbench scores 1302 is the single score and 3412 is the multi score and Android 14 links 4.11.157 puff kernel has been used very good scores here and this is the safety net attestation checker guys you can see basic integrity and CTS profile match both getting passed but still the play store is not certified here it not gonna make any difference here you can use all the payment application and this is with Airtel fiber connection again guys people are complaining about how 5g will uh, gonna work and one more thing i want to say very clear this me 11x only having one 5g band in 77 or 78 i don't know for that you are expecting like a game changing 5g speeds that gonna never gonna happen you will get it but there will be a drop in the internet guys that you need to keep in mind hardware level of support of 5g uh, network is not that great in this me Linux that you need to keep in mind if you complain for a custom rom then there is, there is no point of complaining that it's a hardware feature just it's limited to only one band that's the thing you need to consider 5g gonna work but it's not a huge impactful or anything gonna work like other devices which are having high number of bands that you need to keep in mind and this how the uh, drm information is there 10 support is there l1 certified and again this how charging speed it actually uh, gives some wave effect you can actually customize them and this camera whatever that i'm showing uh, unlocking is not gonna work face unlock and this how the interface everything i really felt the way smooth here you only get this download link uh, in the description check out guys for this particular rom if you're still not subscribed subscribe to my channel let's see bjmi how actually handles in this particular rom And again guys graphic settings they would have been given extreme plus but just here 60 fps and gaming mode is also given here you can actually boost using performance mode and also you get this options i will keep this bright and saturated and other options like recording screenshot clear memory brightness toggle here and turn off screen and you also get voice changer features let's see we actually how it handles in this particular wrong guys That's fine, even in the counter attacks, there was no lag. Yeah. That's fine, actually. The gaming experience could have been better by using extreme plus settings, but by default, they have not given. But if you want that, you can use magic models and other things. okay i'll come back here that's the gaming experience in this particular room i definitely recommend it as a dell drop but there are many more options for uh, you guys for me 11x you can check out mme tma edition and hyperos editions many are available you can check out them if you want this kind of uh, customizable rom you can definitely use it as a dell drop. the battery life is also gonna make you some better than those roms what i've spoken uh, spoken just how the uh, review of this particular rom guys on this me 11x if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom you can comment down in the comment section we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now